Guess what, guys? It's cocktail time! Yay! Yay! Our favorite time of the day is always yours. cocktail time. Uh, it's Jesse, it's MJ, and of course, Tim Laird, America's Chief Entertaining Officer. Happy to be here. We've done some more research, and uh, this is my bourbon peach smash. Okay. Now, when peaches are in season, uh, they're not just for a snack or dessert. I actually like to put them into a cocktail. Uh, I have <laughs> had one of your bourbon peach cocktails it's before. Oh. One of my favorites. And when really. they're in season, I just take a couple of peach slices, put it at the bottom of my mixing glass, just do a little crushing on them just to release their juices and they're mm. good. And when they're really fresh, they really are delicious. So there they go. And then to that, I'm going to add an ounce and a half of bourbon. This is 1792 small batch. And Ooh. it's also a history lesson because I, I was reading the back of the label, and 1792 was when Kentucky became a state. How about aware. that? So it's a history lesson too, kids. Okay. Anyway, so about an ounce and a half of the 1792 small batch bourbon. Boom. That goes right there and there. And then one ounce unsweetened tea. Okay. A half ounce of peach schnapps. Now, if your if your peaches aren't that fresh, mm -hmm. I cheated a little bit with a little peach nectar, maybe you know just a splash, okay. just to sweeten it up a little bit. And then, of course, we're going to give this a good shake with a little couple of ice cubes, just yeah. like this. Boom! Here we go. Shake it up. There it is. The Love peach that. smash coming together. I remember your trick about the peach schnapps before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I you know. just like it, saying schnapps. I do like saying schnapps. It, it, it kicks it up a little bit, you know? <laughs> so, and then, now you can strain these peaches off, you know, before you put them in there, but I like them because I think it adds a little touch and it's like the garnish. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the peaches are in there and everything else. It Cheers. 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 Cheers to the peach Excited. smash. Mmm. Wow. How good is that? So good. Isn't it good? Um, there's bur you put bourbon in ours, right? Yeah, there's, I yes. mean, I you know I, I I think I can taste it, but uh, yeah, there's peach. bourbon in there. The it's the bourbon peach smash. So yes, yeah, bourbon. It smells so oh. good. If you're one of those that like you wow. go in the grocery store and you got to pick up the peaches and smell them before mm -hmm. you get them, this is for you. And what I like oh. about this too is that you know bourbon and peach really go together. I mean, it's just like a nice combination. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when peaches are fresh, this is my go-to. If they're not in season. Maybe a little bit more peach snops and the peach nectar. But when yeah. they're in season, like go it. for the it's, fresh and, it's, and yeah. just... It's like a better fruit salad. <laughs> um, if that's what fruit salad no, I, was, you yeah. know my stance against non-salad salads, mm -hmm. I would totally take mm -hmm. it. Why is it... Okay, I, I, I came here today with the intention of asking you this question. Why is it that peaches and bourbon go so well together? Because you're absolutely... It's perfect. Right. You know, I'll tell you what. If you think about some of the taste profiles of the bourbon from the oak aging. You get cinnamon, you get vanilla, mm -hmm. and those are two big characteristics that come out. Mm -hmm. So you think... Cinnamon and vanilla and peaches, perfect. Oh, my gosh, it's yeah. a nice combination. It's like the uh, whiskey sours. I mean, you know how citrus works with uh, bourbon, That's but true, I'll tell you yeah. what, I think the peach works so good with bourbon. And, I, again, I think it's the notes of the aging of the, mm -hmm. the bourbon in the barrels that really yeah. just bring it up. Mm -hmm. it's like, like you take a little peach, put a little cinnamon, a little vanilla on it. Right. Nice. But, but it works great. And you know, the the unsweet tea, which it's kind of an ingredient that you, ju you, you just threw in, but mm -hmm. it adds, it totally adds something to this. Like, yeah. And it, I'm not a tea fan, and it's, I still like no. it. And it's just yeah. an ounce in, in each drink, so not much. But, uh, um, I think it cuts the sweetness. It does. It, it does. Mm -hmm. And traditionally. Without watering it down. Yeah. And right. traditionally, uh, in America, uh, punches were big. I mean, five ingredients, and mm -hmm. tea was one of those integral parts in a punch. So true. that was the soft part of it. Of course, then you had the strong, which was right. rum traditionally and some other things. But uh, the tea works good here. Even if you don't like tea, I think when you put some bourbon and peach in it, it's like peach it's tea all, too. It's yes. all better. Yeah, about that. yeah they absolutely. Have peach tea flavors and all that. Okay. So okay. I've also never tried this. Uh, this uh, 1792 small batch. It's really, you know, I, when I tasted it, it was just, again, very nice, very uh, smooth, mm -hmm. uh, small batch. And uh, I thought, you know what? I, and as you know, I like to try different things. And I yeah. found that, and I go, wow, is that delicious. <laughs> so, And I thought, oh, my gosh, those flavors will go great with this cocktail. It's now, perfect. Now, Tim, I know you'll never tell us because that's like trade, trade secrets or whatever. But when you try something and you really like it, you have no poker face. Because you, 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 wow. Wow. 
But I'm just curious. One day, I want to see something. I want Tim to try something that he doesn't like just, just to see, see how it's well he like. see that, that that face when it looks. Uh, well, just, let me get some Jägermeister out. I'll show you what ah, it looks like. Yes. <laughs> I never thought, ladies and gentlemen, I never thought I would ever find a, a, a cocktail or a liquor that Tim would disparage. We just found it. No yes, Jager bombs at the lair house. No, no. <laughs> uh, we'll show you what that looks like. But uh, no, I. You know, and you're right. I can't play poker because if I get a good hand, I'm, whoa, look at this. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'll tell you what. Here, I'm throwing in. I'll raise you a double now. And all then, of it. All in. Oh. I'm all in. <laughs> I'm all and in. another. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You know what? Yeah. So uh, this uh, simple to make cocktail. You'll find the recipe uh, in the uh, information section of the video. Yes. Do me a favor. Click like. Uh, subscribe if you're on there, or and, and just share this with people you know. These are very easy to make cocktails. Um, I have to give you a compliment too. Um, the uh, CEO uh, Summer Sipper. Oh, yes. That we did with the watermelon with cubes. The watermelon mm-hmm. cubes. Mm-hmm. Um, let me tell you, big hit. Good. Oh. Big uh, hit. And something else I figured out too. If you take the watermelon cubes and just put them in lemonade, it's a good, uh, oh, it's a good sort of free beverage yeah. lemonade nice. and, uh, and watermelon cubes. Oh, that's a great combination. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it really was. It was, you know, everybody felt included. Yes. Um, and it was a nice, it was something a little bit different than, okay, well, there's just some lemonade or there's just some lime juice lying around. Oh, it I was like a that. good touch. Yes. Um, so, you know, so, so I'm, I'm learning something. Look at you. Yeah, you know, you all inclusive and fancy and stuff. <laughs> I have a Pinterest page. No, no, oh, stop. no I don't. No, I don't. No, no you I better don't. not. Like, no, <laughs> no, I don't. But, you know, but again, you know, that was, that was great. Yeah. And then, um, Oh, the the, the uh, other lemonade one that we made. The mint. The, oh, mint, the mint lemonade. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That, that uh, I'll tell you what. That yeah. mint lemonade is so good. That was one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I went home and, I went home and made that. Uh, kids went to bed. I was like, you know, we have some mint in our garden, so I added a little extra of that. Fresh mint in there, too. Little nice. Little there. I yeah, like so, so I, you know, we, we talk about these, but I do, I at least, I know I make these at home, too, because, you know, I like Tim. I like to. That's what it is. You're it testing is. It's it. It's all about testing and going back. And that's what's fun about, too. You can go back and check out many of the cocktails. Mm-hmm. If you're ever thinking about what I want to do. I mean, in all of these, you can make by the pitcher. Think about that. Yeah. If you're entertaining, um, you know, just make them by the pitcher. Make them ahead of time. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's fun and easy. And then make the alcohol-free version. Like yes, you right. Do. So you have two pitchers there. Yes. And uh, it's great for everybody. And easy for you. It is. And, and you made fun of me because on one of those, I used a, a baby spoon. Well, he used a, a baby spoon, but you couldn't see the bottom. And the way the handle was shaped, it yeah. looked like a toothbrush. And at so first, like, I was like, he's stirring his drink with a baby toothbrush. Everybody on Instagram was like, why are you brushing your teeth? I'm <laughs> like, because it's that good. It's, it's that just delicious. Just dip it in there and brush it, brush it around. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't what? recommend that. No. Uh, you know, 10 out of 10 dentists would say no to that. No. Oh, for no. sure. It no. Was um, but yeah, but no, they're, they're a lot of fun. And like I said, they're very simple to make. And it's, you know, it's a great way to, uh, you know, if you're like me and you have kids. And so, you know, sometimes you do entertain, but sometimes you're like, it's just the two of you. We can't go out. We want to do something, but we want to do something different and fun. It's a, it, these are great ways to add to uh, a little excitement. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. okay, what cocktail should we have today? Well, you can go there. It's a great resource. You know? Absolutely, it you know? is. We have and, and quite I, a few different It's more fun too. than going to the library. Right. <laughs> Talk about a research tool. I, I, There's that. I, go to the cocktail page. And just there you go. It's true. It. And so many of them are, you can make, make an alcohol free, which is like, right. I'm going to be honest, some of them are so good, and I'm such a lightweight that it does, you know, I have to be careful, especially on work nights. So I'll just mix up something that's non-alcoholic off of one of these yeah. and with the lemonade, with the mint, and things like that. And, and, and even with this cocktail, you could, uh, again, leave out the 1792 uh, and uh, substitute a little bit more tea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you that's have peach would, tea and then peach nectar. Leave out the peach snops, but use the uh, alcohol-free peach nectar. Mm-hmm. And you got it. it makes it... Way Beautiful. better than that instant yeah. peach tea stuff that you get. Mm. This is, yeah, it's a whole different thing. Right. There's always some fun tips, though, for, for entertaining, whether it's, you know, you're entertaining your significant other, you're entertaining a large crowd, or you're just entertaining yourself. And tired. I'm like, you self? got the house to yourself, and you're yeah. on the back porch. And, and <laughs> self, I need to get myself in order. And say, I deserve this. That's right. <laughs> when you make it, you go... I deserve Absolutely this. Absolutely, I do. This is for me. Because this is you yummy deserve, stuff. You yes. deserve yummy, it. Yummy you deserve stuff. this. <laughs> and cheers. Thanks again. Yes. Mm.